Alright, there's a trail ride coming up and I want to take this thing. I also picked up some new tyres, so I'm going to swap those bad boys on from 16s to 18s. Fingers crossed they fit well, so I'm just going to strip it down to. I'll take the roll cage off at least, make it easy to get the stuff, clean it all up and yeah, put it back together. Take off the seat belt. There you go. Cage separated. With the roll bar. A bit tidier, but lighter probably too. Just put a spoiler on it, leave it as is, eh, Coop? What do you reckon? Oh, yeah. Excuse me, you're in the way. But I'm hoping that I can get away with leaving those walls quite bulgy because as it, as it sits it matches up with that rim whatever it doesn't matter <clears throat> I may even swap these shocks out I might have some more suited and if they're not suited I'll get the uh, ones on eBay cheapy Chinese ones All right so let's swap these bad boys out from that to that there is a lot of depth on the side wall um, and it should be two inches wider but I'm not going to worry about it the weight of this cart isn't substantial enough to really fuck with it I'm not going to be cornering, cornering hard enough to um, be beat it and it's got a tube in the inside that's kind of supporting it too so yeah. oh, but that's wicked old wheels New ones. All right, we're getting somewhere. Cleaned everything up, trimmed a lot of stuff off, rounded corners, strengthened, rewelded, and painted. But it looks a hell of a lot nicer. Beastie. Alright, much to my dismay, these are gone. They look good, but that's about it. It's a rigid chassis with them. I'll show you. After a bit of experimenting, I've um, squeezed in a monoshock. The monoshock in the center, it's giving it some legitimate travel suspension. I mean, there's not much travel, but. but hell of a lot better. All right, I'd say she's about done now. All ready for the trail ride. I um, obviously cleaned it all up, fixed all the wiring, tidied everything up as much as I could and um, my main objective from the start of the video was getting these wheels on and I was worried about the spacing of the split rim. These rims can separate and you can actually change the spacing in the middle of it but I kept the 40mm spacing for the other tyres I had and um, yeah, sidewalls massively deep but they actually, they suit, they sit well in there and I don't expect a lot of side forces to be happening as much roll. Anyway, tyres fit good. They look good and they're bigger. So, more top speed. And um, in doing so, I had to change the gearing back to the other sprocket. So you'll notice one of them's not in use. I've gone to the 45 tooth sprocket. So, um... Yeah, with that gearing, it's um, it'll it'll max out around sixty-five to seventy k. So tires was one thing we got that sorted. The other was the suspension, and if you remember, well, probably from this same video, I had these shocks in here, 
massive from the front of a quad and the springs actually put in here a bit softer from a Harley so I swapped these swapped these out because the way the, the swing arm here at the back is set up there's not enough leverage to push on these shocks so that was a rigid chassis pretty well and now we've got these smaller shocks uh, 150 eye to eyes 750 pound spring rating so I've got two of them and they're really close to the pivot which you probably won't be able to see too well down there but there's a lot of force that's 350 kgs of force to compress those or 750 pounds of force to compress those one inch so no calculations were done just chucked them in tried different angles works of treat so yeah she's coming along nicely So as you'll notice, it's a hell of a lot softer than those other shocks would have ever have been. You'll see it's soft at the start, and then you've really got to jump on it, and it doesn't even quite bottom. So for me, that's perfect. I'm not going to be doing some massive jumps off anything and coming down really hard, but even if I did, it wouldn't bottom out too bad. It's really taken up the impact quite well. So that's a massive improvement. I'm happy with that. Um, after that, I just wanted to tidy everything up and um, add little bits and pieces that I'll show you. But make sure the lighting and everything is working. Brake light. And the um, light bar, which isn't massively bright, can't tell right now, but it'll do alright. These are new front guards, and um, I just put some proper pedal grips on there too, some checker plate. Yeah, so all the electronics work well. We've got a bit of a hazard relay in case I broke down. There is a tail light that I can choose to just keep on or, or not. Air compressor. Yeah, so I added some trim here and there just to tidy things up. Some aluminium sheets all bent up. They're pretty rigid. And um, also a piece under here to protect just the gear set up, my gearbox. Uh, it's to mainly stop debris and crap getting into the chains and just wearing them out quicker. And torque converter cover to stop debris getting on the belts and wearing that out. So yeah, she's definitely ready. Ready to get dirty. And um, we'll see how she goes on this uh, 45 kilometre trail ride up and down hills through paddocks should be quite cool if I make it I'm gonna take the um, blue drifter cart too anyone can have a blade on that one and um, I don't expect it to make it as far as this would on the trail but I'm happy to for it to tag along behind me and I'll um, I'll tow it with my little tow hook down there worst case yeah so I think that's it do the ride, see how we go. I'll 